Hi, I have a sweater. I have a sweater. Aren't you guys glad to know that? Just realized I was still holding it. You know, I always set the tunes to be like, oh, I'm gonna listen to this song twice. And then I'm gonna be ready to hit play. And then I'm just like, yeah, 155, that's enough time. No, it's a four minute song. So, I don't know if I can bring myself to go live like 10 minutes beforehand. But <laughs> this song's always so jamming. Both of them from Wintergaten. This is the Marble Machine, this song. I love it so much. Sweater talking tunes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I'm right at the edge of being freezing cold and very comfortable. But my hair is wet, and I don't feel like dealing with collars and hair right now. Yeah. <sighs> this week has been frustrating. Cyberpunk 2077 has brought me so much stress. The the collector's edition pre-order deal. And then there's the whole thing of like pre-ordering a game that's kind of broken. You know what I mean? But I finally got it sorted. And then once I finally got that sorted, they were like, oh, it's back in stock. You didn't have to stress like you were going to lose out on this collector's edition that's on eBay for a thousand fucking dollars. Because, you know, $250 for a collector's edition. A year and a half ago, like I did the part that I was supposed to do to secure it. And they were like, we don't know what PayPal is. Eight times a day. For the last, like, week. They're like, this thing that you, we let you put in there to pay for it, we don't know how to, how to interact. <laughs> don't know how to act right. Act in a fool. Uh, but I finally got that sorted, and literally six hours later, they were like, it's back in stock. Because believe me, if I could have canceled my order and just bought it with a different card, I would have. But now the game's here, because I got that for the PlayStation, for my wife. Well, I got all the goodies, she got the game. And then I pre-ordered mine on Steam, which... I don't even know if that was the right idea or not, the right thing to do. It's kind of been crazy. But... Cyberpunk... I have it running okay. And believe me... If I could get a hold, if I could get a hold of hardware to run it better, I would put it on credit and do it, and future me would have to deal with it. But I can't. It's not even a fucking option. Because, well, it seems like the only way to get a GPU right now is to pay somebody to let you in a back door. And that's just, fuck that. Right? You know, pay somebody to give you a lead on when when things are going to be in stock so that maybe. Like, I'm not paying nobody for that. That's stupid. Produce a stock. Put the thing up for sale. Why can't we do that? We could also kill all the Bitcoin miners. I'm just kidding. But fuck them. <laughs> they need to make a card for Bitcoin mining. Then everybody wins. Bitcoin mining really just, oh, it just upsets me. It just upsets me because it's in the way of my favorite hobby. And it's so dumb. Like, it's this, it's this needless, yeah, I didn't mine. You didn't past tense mine? As in, as in, as in, as in what? Seek what? <laughs> <clears throat> clarifies <laughs> has never mind for crypto that's good seek I have your address I'm no, just kidding <laughs> uh, I just I don't know it's so it's such a weird and dumb thing to get in get in the way of so many people for no reason feel free to send me more goodies <laughs> I just, and then like, oh man, so now we've got all these like used and burnout GPUs on the used market and I don't know, I don't know. GPUs are a weird thing. We had a good thing going from like, what, about 2005 to 2015? Like a 10 year period where like, if you're like, I need to upgrade my computer, you could go do it. And then, I don't know. And then people got greedy. I think essentially people got greedy. 
Also, there was a huge economy collapse, like smack dab in the middle of, of the good time for buying just computer parts, so they were cheap. I guess. And not a lot of people could afford them, but if you could, they were easy to come by. Maybe that had something to do with it. I mean, it's, it's all so complicated, right? <sighs> I just, you know, at the point, at the point where, when, when, um, when the 1000 series came out, right? And I was trying to get a 1080. Or I was trying to get a second 1080 for her computer. And her co-worker, who, who got a gaming PC after being console only forever and then decided he didn't want to be a, a gaming pc guy so he just like turned everything into bitcoining or whatnot i'm not gonna name any names here but he he comes to her he's like oh i heard your husband's having a hard time getting parts for his gaming pc i've got minor hookups you want me to get you guys a, a graphics card uh no <laughs> Like, I just, I, that was the point where I was like, this is a real problem. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, I don't even know how to be mad about that. It's just all wrong. It's all broken. I mean, I'm laughing it off, but it sucks. I really want a new GPU. Um, and I'd like to enjoy games. And I can, just not as well as I want to. So. <clears throat> I just feel stressed. And I don't want to feel stressed. Getting a game and enjoying the game is supposed to be the easy part. Right. 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 So, what we have are very old games on very old hardware that don't even use sound cards today. Well, we have one. And we're going to do it as long as I can. So, we have... Um, remember what, what, what I have where here. We have 688 Attack Submarine or Submarine depending on who you are. Hello, fish. We're just about to do the unboxing. You're just in time. You have missed all of the rage, um, the rage talking about the things that are stressing me out. I'm pre-drunk right now, just fine. Oh, that's the best place. Yeah, you just missed all the rage, like the bad rage, and we're about to get into the, uh, the good rage, which is unboxing one of the earliest video games I ever played. PCI Phillips sound card. If I've heard about that, I forgot, but that one almost is new to me. I would love more information on that. Okay, so here we go. I think this one. Perfect. All right. Okay. <clears throat> this is 688 Attack Sub by John Radcliffe. John W. Ratcliffe. And this one is for the IBM. There's an Amiga version. There is a Sega Genesis and um, something else. I, something else by Sega. CD? Master System? I don't know. This is from Electronic Arts. It's all classified, you see. You can't share this. But now it's been redacted. Or not redacted. Um, it's, been, it's been open to the public, so I can share it with you. <laughs> the hand looks real. I know the graphics are amazing, right? So, okay, so Electronic Arts, this is not real. This is this is part of a picture, right? This is a sticker, believe it or not, which is super cool, but I kind of wish I could have just, like, had that sticker to put on something. Also, it looks like a patch, right? The folder looks lifelike. It does look lifelike, and it's not. So this is one of the thinner big boxes um, of, when was this? I actually don't know when this game came out. Um, there's no date on it, actually. Oh, well, we can figure this out real quick. How about game? Because I put that here, and we can go find out, and I'll just pull it up to the side here. How about that? No, I already donated. Thanks. So this came out in 1989. Amiga, 1990. Genesis, 1991. All right. And this is a, well... It's a submarine simulator. It's kind of a management, a management sim. I don't really know how to describe this one, to be honest. It's, it's not, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a clicker 
weird. Summary. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but look at these. Oh, whoops. Look at look at these groundbreaking graphics here. Actually, um, to tell the truth, in 1989, these did look pretty friggin' excellent. Pretty friggin' excellent. So in 1989, I was born in 84, so I would have been seven. So besides like Galactic Battleground, Galactic Battles. There was a game called Galactic Battles, and it was like a, um, it was one of those things where you fly the little ship, and the little ships are up here, and they shoot at you, and you shoot at them until you get to the next level. All right. The target thinks. The target feels. The target wants you dead. Those damn Russians. <laughs> Delegate to your crew. Or master all of the responsibilities yourself. Control sophisticated weapon systems. Uh, like harpoon encapsulated missiles. What? Oh. Okay. Harpoon missile. Got it. <laughs> We're going whaling. Uh, wire guided torpedoes and lots more. Man, wire guided torpedoes are kind of fucking interesting. This is a weird time in, in military technology. Choose commands on the quiet, on the quiet US-688 or the faster Soviet Alpha and experience real-life trade-offs. <laughs> that right there is some American propaganda, if I have ever heard it. So you can play on the American Los Angeles class 688 attack submarine, or you can play on the Russian Alpha class submarine, which is faster, but you'll get to experience those trade-offs, mister. <laughs> because communism. Actually, wait, what year did the what, what year did the wall come down? Was that 89, 86? Was this game in development before that? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Huh. <clears throat> oh, gets it. Nice. Okay. Cutting edge technology like 3D sonar computer mapping help you hunt and evade enemies. Enemy vessels are smart and unpredictable, whether you play by yourself or against another play of our modem. Well, that's taken a lot, a lot for granted, because they don't know. They don't know who you're playing against. They could not be smart. All right. The target thinks, the target feels, the target wants you dead. This is a simulation that resets standards in color, realism, and 3D graphics. How? What? You resets? Not re-hyphen sets, just resets, like back to what? I don't know. What? That's a weird statement. That puts you in command of a top secret billion dollar Los Angeles class US attack submarine that pits you and your crew against deadly fleets of submerged surface and airborne targets around the globe that unfolds the dangers of espionage, evasion, and destruction. This is, the, this is the simulation that forces a showdown with enemies so cunning, so resourceful, and so incredibly human that in the heat of battle, you will ask yourself the most disturbing and ultimate thrilling question. Is this really happening? Pr Alright, here's an Ardian Havoc prediction. We are going to ask several times during this game, is this really happening? <laughs> As I'm getting my ass handed to me by little letters. <clears throat> Prettier letters than Rogue, but still letters. You'll see. This is 688 Attack Sub. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. It's time to get into this box, which I just, like, totally destroyed flipping upside down. So you would think, like, oh, we're going to open it up here. We're not. We're not. You can, but we're not. We're going to do this. Also, here's a picture of John W. Ratcliffe the creator. Look at him. This man is serious about pretending to be a submarine captain. This was his life dream. 
Actually, I'm not really sure who he is, to be honest. I just know that name so well because it's on the front of the box. Uh, apparently, he's 5'11", has blue eyes. It's good to have that level of security clearance to open a box from a front. I know. Okay. So, here, we, I had a disc of this. Um, I actually lost it recently. And then I found it. And then it was kind of corrupt. But I managed to get it installed. And then I was like, you know, I need this. This manual right here. And when my parents emptied out, whatever, they didn't send this. We don't know where it is. So I, I bought a new box. Plus, I wanted the box because I think this is a really cool looking box. But this manual right here <clears throat> is an essential part of this game as it is the DRM. It also has lots of information in it and some kind of cool designs. Like, there's some cool designs in here. Well, there's that one. I really liked submarines when I was a kid. So here's the way this manual works. In the sections here, Baltimore, Baton Rouge, Birmingham, you'd think like, oh, these are cities. No, these are these are Los Angeles class attack submarines. These are their city designations because they name these fuckers after US cities. Buffalo, Cincinnati, whatever. So the game will give you the name of the section and then ask you a question of something in the sections that you have to answer in three digits. Oh man, we'll see this right here, but this like sonar view of the underwater, this was so exciting back in the day, oh my god. Oh wow, here's how to set up your modem. Here's how to set up your modem. Designers, you know, I don't, I remember this book, but I think I was too young to understand like half of the things in here, but there's an incredible amount of information here evading submarines using noisemakers um you know the different classifications the way i remember this thermal layers and shadow zones so you know this is there we go maybe yeah, thermal layers and shadow zones so there's places there's certain depths that you can hide you know from sonar buoys and drag buoys and other submarines depending on you know the temperature of the water there was, there was a lot to learn in here, and I soaked all this shit up so much, and then, you know, watched A Hunt for Red October a million times in a row in Das Boat. You know, normal, normal, normal seven-year-old shit. <laughs> yeah, so that's the manual. This manual right here was, God, this was an essential thing. This, like, was pretty much Velcro to the computer I had back in the day. Like, just, it's a shame that we lost it. Here's your mail-in card. So that they can data mine you. I think I'm guilty of filling out one or two of these thinking that I get free shit. It worked out for me once. I have like a 1 in 50 5 Iron Frenzy single. So that's neat. It's only worth about $500 because there's so few of them. Sorry. Got lost in thought there for a second. Here is the receipt from the guy who bought it. I think I should probably not show this. Tap steady! We're playing submarine games. It's happening today. <laughs> okay, clerk. I don't think this guy's name's on it. This game was purchased 5592 in the North Hills Village by Mart. You ever notice, like, Buy Mart is so incredibly, uh, you just, Buy Mart, constant video games at Buy Mart. It was, oh, twenty three ninety nine. ended up being $30. Well, he paid $30. He got $3 in change back. Where was this? Texas. This was bought in Texas. I don't know why that doesn't surprise me at all. All right. <clears throat> America is depending on you. Remember to not choose the Alpha Class submarine or you'll experience trade-offs. <laughs> Captain's Logbook, June 6, 1988. No way out. Soviet Alpha on your tail. She's just too fast. I need help now or we'll never surface again. Help is here. Survival Guide. Contains advanced America... Okay. Power. Okay. 
Twelve ninety five. I can get the survival guide book to help me pilot my submarine. Does this go to electronic? This goes to electronic arts. I kind of want to mail it in, but I don't want to write down. I am not writing down my Visa Mastercard number. No. 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 What a terrible thing. What do we got here? Get the power to play for your PC with these hit titles. Get the power to play for your PC. What? What? Get the power to play for your PC with these hit titles from Electronic Arts. What? That makes... How does that... What? Words, man. Words. Ooh. 4D Boxing. Chuck Yeager's Air Combat. <laughs> There's a title. Holy shit. Coming soon. Are we there yet? I don't know if this ever came. I don't know if they ever arrived. It just says coming soon here for Are They There Yet. Is this a submarine clip? Steady. We're playing submarine games. It's happening today. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> We're already off to a great start. <laughs> that was beautiful. No, thank you. I hope I made your day there. All right, so this is stuff. There's just words here. It's not even not even color pictures. Some of these don't even have art. Addendum. Uh, screen blacking out with some VGA boards, that's not good. Modem command files that that aren't haze registered compatible? Okay. Oh, this will get you on. You know, I've never played this online. That would actually be really cool. Um, probably all dial up, but I'll bet I could get something going locally. All right, so this one, unlike the version I had, comes in two of the big discs. I did not have these. This is also not the disc I had. The one I had had a different colored sticker and it was black. Actually, wait, I know where mine is. <clears throat> I forgot, I hung it on the wall. So this is the disc that I grew up with. There we go. DOS load disc, see? I have to tap out early. I hate this, but I'm going to enjoy my wine cone right now. Fish, have a great night. Um, don't forget to take aspirin before you go to sleep so you don't get a headache. So yeah, this is my disc. I forgot I hung it on the wall over here, which I'm probably just going to store in here. No, I'm going to leave it on the wall. But yeah, these are, these are very different. I mean, they're probably the same thing, but you know, very different kind of disc, different revision or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, and this is it. And it's got this nice plastic inlay in here to keep everything. Even uh, even the discs have a little ledge to pop into to keep them in place, which I think is super swell. Look at that, look at that. So it just holds that all in there. And you just take all this stuff and you slide it right in here. Even the manual, it just fits everything in here so perfectly. This is how you make a box. Well, we're gonna keep the manual because we need it to get into the damn game. 680 to tech some. And don't forget, tomorrow, I have its sequel, Seawolf, SSN 71, 21, 21. And uh, it's still got the plastic on it, which we're gonna shred off. We're gonna take that off there and see what's inside this. It's a much bigger box, like seriously, much bigger box. So that's exciting. When EA used to make like mill sims and stuff. Or publish. Hell, I don't know. Okay. I just literally set my phone up there and that was the camera. Which, uh, you know what? Works pretty good. Rip Holographics Rainbow Box. I know, right? 
How you doing, Sean? Did you just now show up? You missed the unboxing. And, um... And this. You missed this. You missed that, which was a beautiful moment. <clears throat> Clear off that camera from this phone. Okay. <laughs> I gotta kill that monitor. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got the manual. We're gonna move on over here. All right, let's wake this fucker up. So this game... <clears throat> Sorry about any noise that caused. I'm going to actually turn off the filter so you guys can enjoy both every sniffle and the PC speaker. Oh wait, was the filter off already? I think the filter was actually still off from the last time we were over here. Cool, great. I need to remember to turn it back on then. How about that? Okay, so this is the new one. Um, I actually installed it from both, uh, from both discs. Essentially the same files, but we'll use the new one. I didn't know if it had, like, a revision or something. You know what I mean? Also, how's everybody doing today? Now's, now's the time to find out these uh, burning questions. As I try to locate what the hell cable this is that's under my foot and chair rollers. <clears throat> All right, here comes 688, attack Sombra Marine. We're gonna use VGA, the IBM compatible VGA, which is option four. I am stressed and tired, but can't complain much. Yeah, I I went on a stress rant about Cyberpunk and um, not being able to get a video card and all that stuff when I started. Tried to get it out. Just, I feel very stressed. And I mean, there's more things to be stressed out than a video game and computer hardware, but they're kind of my main things right now, and I suppose that's probably pretty good. Yeah? Um, no external sound capabilities. I, I cannot get it to work with the ad lib card. I don't know that I ever have, to be honest. I love this title screen. It's kind of reminiscent of Hunt for Red October. Uh, when the, the Los Angeles class submarine called the Dallas surfaced so dramatically it dived out of the or dived rose out of the I forget what this was called there's a word for this particular action but man what a beautiful screen though seriously there's some right fine pixelated imagery here breached no no I think breached is when they do it through ice um, I just can't think of what the term is. Alright, this is the mission selection, selection screen. Super interesting because you can pick a Red 700 here, which is a Russian I don't know, to be honest. I know what the Alpha class is. Um, there is one mission here. There's only like two missions in here I was ever able to beat as a seven-year-old. But, um, comrade, yeah. I can't think of what it was, but it was on the Strait of Gibraltar. Um, I think that this symbol indicates that these missions can be played online. And for some reason, these cannot. But we'll check out the Torpex 98, 89. Okay, so you get... I love this. I mean, I love this because I grew up with it. Um, but I think that this is an absolutely beautifully done options menu. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Let's 
And here you can enter in a telephone number in the most painful way possible. <laughs> Um, let's see. Originate. Okay, no modem. Mission selection. No sound. Kovac sounds on LPT-1. Default sounds. Kovac sounds on LPT-1. Oh, oh, I know what that is. Okay, we can't use that. Um, working, working. No worries. Alright, let's begin mission. Man, this is um, kind of a jumpy mouse here for this one. Weird. All right, this is our boat. This is the boat. You see this asshole right here? I want to punch him in the face. I always have. He looks like a guy I want to punch in the face. Everyone knows that guy, right? Uh, reminds me, take a screenshot. He's gonna be a. He's gonna be an emote. We're just gonna call this face punch guy. I mean, we all know that guy, right? You look at him and you're like, ah, he's gonna do something shitty. Can I just punch him now, right? <laughs> All right, so we have all this stuff. We can't do it until we unlock the game from the book, right? So we have to go over here to communication. And we got to let it play out. <clears throat> Phoenix. So we got to go to chapter Phoenix. Or let's say column Phoenix. So we're in the P's. So here we have the Phoenix column. The answer for this is going to be in here. Situations may arise in which you absolutely must question whether this is really happening. I did it already, guys. I did it already. Toad arrays can be over 2,000 feet long. Um, toad arrays can be over 2,000 feet long. Consequent, consequently, the toad array must be reeled out. As you can expect, this takes a matter of minute. The toad array wants to deploy the toad array so okay select toad array once to deploy the toad array select it again to retrieve it situations may arise in which you absolutely must accelerate so acc is our answer here i'm just gonna finish reading it though because we're all wondering we're all wondering accelerate quickly despite the fact that the toad array is deployed in these situations you will be given the choice of cutting the toad array cable or not once you have cut the toad array cable it is gone for the rest of the mission. So the toad array cable is a set of microphones that listen. You drag them behind you and then move along silently and they listen to like a much wider area. Because, so, submarines are blind. They are absolutely blind. There's no windows. You're not going to see shit. So they have to work on listening and echolocation. So you have your sonar, which you send out bounces off objects, comes back, the computer interprets it, and tells you roundabout what's out there and what its shape is. Or density. When you do that, everyone fucking hears you. All the other submarines and ships know exactly where you are, because that's how ears and listening works. You can tell which direction things came in. Passive sonar is just listening. But, passive sonar is mounted on the side of the submarine which means it can pick up a lot of interior noises and it's not always the best. A toad array sonar net is behind the boat, or I think it's only behind. It'd have to be behind. Otherwise, if you move, you'll get tangled in the propeller. There are things I've forgotten. Like, I just, I'm digging up all this knowledge that I just know. Like, useless shit that I know. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten some of it. And not submarines. <laughs> but so they have this listening net that can just has a wider range of all these little microphones. They also have a periscope. Periscopes are tricky and dangerous. Yeah. Tricky and dangerous. Alright. So accelerate. This is actually one of the easier ones. We don't have to click it, you know, 26 times or whatever. Oops. Or we do. I don't care. Whatever. Send code. <laughs> So now we'll get our mission, now that it's gotten through the DRM. <coughs> Since Clantic Flit. Torpex in Atlantic. You are to begin a training exercise off the coast of the southernmost island of Faro. 
of the Faroe Island chains. <clears throat> there are three decommissioned forest Sherman class destroyers making their way northeast through the island chain. They have been configured with a remote autopilot system to allow them to make simple maneuvers capable during capabilities during this exercise. Radar and sonar on these ships is also controlled remotely. The surface ships and lamps on the hel lamp lamp three helicopters patrol the area. Attempt to identify the boat, at which point the exercise will end. Crap. It will end sonar blast at the ship. So if I'm heard, God, I need to scroll up. Kind of, I kind of did not read fast enough here. <clears throat> and weapons are free. Okay, so show these skimmers and flyboys what's good. Okay, so I'm blowing them up. Ready to begin mission. Crap. Message previous. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I don't know why from here um, I can I can access the periscope, but whatever. Interesting, it didn't make me put the antenna up to read the signal. I don't know why. I feel like it did. It's printing pretty quickly to keep up with it. I know. Okay. All right. So here, this is the submarine breakdown, which I. I've always loved this. I love submarines. They're just so fucking cool. So here I can select and see that things are okay or not okay, right? Every screen has my coordinates and the time in the mission. Um, this is navigation. So, you know, dive, rise, auto functions. Um, we're currently... Uh, we're currently at a depth of 20 feet. Okay. Okay. These guys down here, and this is my this is my drag bar for for speed. This is left and right. I don't remember what the hell this does. I think these are in, out. Um, Horizons? No. Oh, this is beautiful right here. So, like, okay. <clears throat> we start moving like we can see it in here. See what I mean? And I think this is, like, ah, oh, this is so cool. Alright, stop. I just can't remember what these mean. I can look them up in the thing, though. <clears throat> Port, forward, starboard. Got it. Port, forward, starboard. So this gives me a quick, quick reference to the sides. <laughs> Obviously, this game was not made with Switch in mind. <laughs> Cavitation level. So this is when I go so fast that the propeller creates oxygen bubbles, um, and it's loud. It's loud, and everybody, everybody hears me. We don't want that. All right. So we're still sitting still. This is my torpedo station. Um, you can flood the tubes and arm the torpedoes. It takes time to arm them when you click it. Uh, you select your target launch. Torpedo control. You can detonate them early when they're wired. This is... Wow, this mouse is not loving this. This is my sonar station. We get a picture of a guy letting me know that high-pass sonar filter is activated. Band pass. Okay. Um, I can do an active pulse, which is going to let everybody know I'm here. It sounds terrible on the PC speaker. <laughs> um, and this is waypoint control. <clears throat> um, so we're going to switch back to... Here we go. Zoom in. Okay, and these are the boats. So we'll look through the periscope. Periscope up. All right. Here's the boats. I. Why can't I? Oh, here's the direction. Periscope rotation. Look at those boats. 
Look at those boats. What if I raise my antenna and transmit here? EMS level, okay. Type a message and press enter escape. Really? I kind of remember this, actually. No? Okay. Okay, so I can get the mission back. There must be other things that I can do as well here. But I think this is probably the big one because, God, this went so fast. <clears throat> but I think I was supposed to identify the three Forest Class Sherman class destroyers making their way northeast through the island chain. They, okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Um, radar and sonar on the ships is also controlled. I need to identify them. I don't want to learn how to identify them quick. Okay. Attempt to identify... Oh, they will attempt to identify my boat. It will end with the exercise of three sonar blasts. Okay. Your mission is to destroy each of them within an allocated time slot, which we've been going crazy. <clears throat> Just wasting time here. Activate the torpedoes in the water or too much noise will be created. We'll alert them, okay? Alright, so we gotta lower the periscope. We have to do this one underwater. Um, periscope down, periscope down. Sonar, nope, nope. Sonar here. Uh, C is up here. I would like to go to 150 feet down. Mr. Sadface here. Heading to 150 feet. So we're diving. So cool. Alright, map. 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 Let's analyze. You must have a target selected. Okay. Um, I need to figure out which one band pass and high pass is real quick here. I think that there was an appendix. Oh, there's all kinds of fun um, shortcut keys back here, too. <clears throat> Index. Sonar computer, 46 to 47. Sonar computer. Oh, interesting. So this section up here, this section right here is for ships. Oh, look. Okay, they're starting to appear here. Okay, so they have moved enough that my, my passive... Um, filter has picked up the three ships. So we got A, B, and C. Um, this right here is the area where something gets identified as a ship, sub, biological, and two different kinds of torpedoes. Target select. Okay. Target acquired. We can see it's heading here by the red dot. We can see where it's been by the red uh, line behind it. <clears throat> So I think, I think we're going to go into heading this direction. Maybe, oh fuck it, or we can just sit where we're at and see if we get lucky here. Um, we don't want an active pulse. Okay, we have a target. Let's hit the nearest target. Okay. Okay. We know the target. This is the target. Let's load a torpedo. I don't think I can launch it yet. 
You okay? Um, auxiliary tube selected. Loaded. What is in my auxiliary tube? Ooh, contact has been lost. Todd Howard's in this game, right? Okay. Let me... Hmm. I must have... Okay. I know. Okay, okay. okay. <clears throat> well, let's sync these two. We'll surface for the last one. Forming analysis. This is so cool. All right. So we're relatively sure that this is a boat. I mean, we know it is. We know it's out there because it says B4 Sherman class destroyer, right? <clears throat> um, let's shoot it. With you. Torpedo launch. Alright, D's my torpedo. See, C just popped up here? We need to figure out what that is. Um, yeah. An unknown submerged contact. So we don't know if it's like a whale or another submarine. It says it's in that third bracket. You can see where the white's popping up there. So it's biological. That's a whale. F, we don't know what that is. That just popped up. Okay. We're going to fire a torpedo at A. And then we're going to move. Now we know that A is another one of these. Okay, you see... A has turned and headed towards me. It knows where I am, so we are leaving. We are going to two thirds, maintain our whatever. Um, I see C has popped back up here. Ah, right, here we go. All right, all right. So we're gonna go this way. <clears throat> we're gonna make a hard turn. I wonder what that is. So we'll be heading west. What? Okay. So we just got completely destroyed and I didn't even really see a warning about that. <laughs> I don't know how to arm them outside of the thing. I mean, this was a hard game, and this was a brutally hard game for a seven-year-old, and I spent hours on this, and I don't remember shit. This is a return report immediately. With a full report, next 24 hours, Captain, your officers will be my guest to explain your lackluster no-ship damage at all. What? Performance? Aw, we're getting fucking told. Didn't talk down to. Okay, play again. Talk down to... Yeah, we got, we got fucking told. They're gonna yell at you if you lose one. I know, right? Okay. Oh, God. You have to unlock it every mission, which is absolute horseshit. It's like $5 a month. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to unlock it every time. I think you just have to unlock it one time when you launch the game.
but you have to sit through the damn thing. <clears throat> oh, HUD. H is HUD on and off. Out. Contour, image, bottom, top-down map. Got it. Found all the things for that little part right there. I never saw any notification that anything was headed towards me, to be honest. Well, there it was. Admiral John W. Ratcliffe III. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we've got unknown contacts here. Let's um, sonar. God, how did I even play this as a kid? Keep skipping over the sonar section. I'd like to know what those two bandpass filters, um, the difference between them. Sonar control. Targeting pulse, we don't want that total ray. Okay. Generally, you'll want to have the filter set to bandpass so you can monitor all of them. However, in critical situations, you may set this to high pass. It'll filter out everything, okay, except for high frequency noises. Torpedoes, engines, and high noises. Okay. So we want band pass, which is already where we're at. <laughs> so we have the periscope up. Oh, they're further... Okay, okay. Okay. What is the play here? I think we need to move very silently. Is this... Yes, okay, okay. This shows my course. All right. <clears throat> Okay, to detect things in front of you, you need to be facing them, I believe. <clears throat> Biological, okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate around these boats and we're going to come up from behind so they're not heading towards me because their projected course is like, yeah. So we're just going to kind of go along the side here. We're not very deep um, and we may not want to be uh, because, well, we can go down. We can go down. We could probably move a little bit faster too. So we can actually like go down and kind of go through this little canyon here, which is kind of cool. There's A. A is the last one. We want to get behind them.
And we're going to go right under him. <laughs> Oops. Oh, not like that. We're going to go here. Fuck it. We're going to go deeper. We can do this. We can do this. Um, this is, I think, the current depth of the ocean here. Or it's my crush depth. We have to go deeper. Yep. We cross the thermal layer. Okay, so we're going to be totally blind here, and they will not be able to um, detect us with any passive sonar. Or active, I think. Um, so... But we also might be a little bit blind. We might be able to go a little bit faster. I'm gonna risk everything here. <clears throat> was there a way to speed up time? I think that there actually was. Um, it was either in this game or it was in a game called Up Periscope or Aces of the Deep. I can't remember. Oh, cool. You can hit the arrow key to, like, move through a control group. That's what she said. <laughs> There's hotkeys for everything. Control A disconnects the mouse. Control K surrenders modem game. Has a troll quota, troll quota to fill. Left and right periscope. Okay. You can do all of this game on a keyboard. It's kind of cool. I don't see... The hell's boss key? Oh. Woo! <laughs> that was scary. That was ridiculously scary. There's a help screen on spacebar. There's not. What? How do I get to that? How do I get to help screen? Escape is help screen. No? Is it? No? No, there's no help screen. No help screen. We're going to speed up because I'm getting impatient here. This is how they get you. speed okay cavitation levels nothing the word down below a thing I think we'll be all right you see that the the bottoms coming up a little bit it's shallowing out here this is definitely a game that you need a lot of patience to play <clears throat> But it does have pretty and vivid colors, and I've always loved that. I want to get behind this wake. But I definitely don't want to scrape the bottom. Holy shit. I think we'll be alright, though. <clears throat> so 
So we know we're like right under all of them right now. Really risking it. I think we'll be all right. <clears throat> there are no quick saves in this game, so like it's a full mission commit to uh, to play this one. I think just a couple more giant pixels here. And we'll, we'll flip around and kind of see where we're at. I don't know how close is too close to launch the torpedo. All right. Interest. Oh, that's okay. I got it. Northwest, so this should be my guys here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go up to 150. Let's go. Let's go, mopey face man. Oops, went too far. Okay, we're here. We see. We see A and C. I have no idea what this particular thing is right here. Um, I need to make sure that we come to all stop. Did I not? Yeah, we're at all stop. Still kind of drifting forward. It takes a while. It takes a while. All right, target you, unknown contact, analyze. <clears throat> That's a submarine. Or a ship. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's arm torpedoes. Just get all four tubes here. Okay, that's my dot. That's my dot. So let's go up and confirm that I'm shooting at a thing real quick. And be all right. Periscope death. Let's roll. Well, don't roll. That won't be good for anybody in the boat. Periscope depth is like 20 feet. Yeah. Looks like we are right behind this this guy here. All right, periscope down. Now wait a minute. The two dudes here. I'm having a real hard time knowing where those guys are. But I think. You are A. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh, you're still A. Oh, I flipped. I... Oh, what are you doing? I came all the way around, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. It was a lot quicker than I expected it to be. Wait, if that's A... The hell's D? What I want is C. Let's think C. What is this? Shit, okay. Okay. Alright. And we're going down. 150 or more. Uh, reverse? Can I reverse without cavitating? I can't do that while I'm going down. Okay. Alright. Let's let's go down deeper. We gotta go deeper. Um, it's pretty shallow here. Okay, torpedoes are armed now. Let's sit at 300. Select target B. Launch. Launch. Get a look at where we are here. Okay. Okay. Two thirds. Go down. I want to. I want to slide down in this little little shelf down here, which I think is mostly where I came from. We cross the thermal layer. This is good. This is good. Okay. So now we're gonna wait for sonar to report if we made a hit or not. The only things that we know about are our four torpedoes right now. Um, because we're below the thermal layer. <clears throat> but we're going to move out of where we fired those torpedoes because... Oh, motherfucker! We only had 15 minutes to complete that mission. <laughs> all, all like we we almost had enough fish in the water to take down all the boats, and and we ran out of time. <sighs> Wait, it's continue play? No, damn it, damn it. Mermider cadaver. Ugh, okay. You know what? Oh. I think that's enough 680 to attack submarine for me today. <laughs> I really, 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 really liked this game as a kid, but man, I just, I don't think I have the patience when it has a time limit like that. Like, I felt like things were going really well, but 15 minutes is, it took so long to get behind them, you know what I mean? That's all right. That's all right. We'll do its sequel tomorrow. Looks like there's some really cool stuff in this one and a little bit better visuals. So that'll be fun. Just don't think I'm in the mood for this this kind of frustration today. <sighs> all right. We may come back to this one at some point, I think. Um, uh, but I just gave it a good go, but I'm just not feeling it today. So who else is there to hang out with today? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go screw around in cyberpunk, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Who else is around today? <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the Cyberpunk unboxing on Saturday. I just don't know if it's going to be if it's going to be here by then, to be honest.
We'll, we'll raid Bogle. He's still going with, um... He's still going on Blood. And that's a DOS game. He's still going on Blood with Dutchie, which is great. Yeah. But yeah. Alright, that was it for me. I did the mandatory hour. Um, <laughs> hey. Who's not, not there? Not there with this one today. That's alright. That's alright. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we'll be back with a newer submarine game tomorrow, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, here's the raid. I'll see you guys tomorrow.